You okay? Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Planet Zoo and Pine Brook Sanctuary. I hope you're all doing well. We are with our Siamanx that we put in that last episode and you may have noticed that there are some changes. So I'll show you first of all, we completed the inside of the habitat. So the Siamangs can go up and sleep up here and the boys and girls and everybody else can see them sleeping or just generally playing like we have now. We also have our little art piece that we're going to try and incorporate into every habitat just so the kids can have something that they can tick off on their little workbooks that they that you can get at the zoos. Um, we also have a little kind of indoor climbing frame and their little drinks area and a little food area along with their checklist as well. Um, I didn't want to put too much stuff in here so it's just so they can kind of run around and kind of be and decorated the doors that they that lead out into the habitat and the keepers can open and close as they wish. Yeah, what I might do is make this habitat a little bit bigger uh, eventually um, because even though they have got plenty of space, we do want it to be kind of like a sanctuary. Um, so I might extend it out this way a little bit so they can have a little bit more room. Those eagle-eyed viewers, you may have noticed there's a bit of a color scheme change. So before we, were, we had kind of dark browns, only because I thought it just looked a bit cleaner and a little bit nicer um, and it's, it's something that we haven't kind of used this this colour scheme before so I have updated everything um, so I really do hope you like it but yeah we're making quite a nice chunk of money now so that should really help us out I did put in a water stall or drink stall so we may just need to do some kind of staff management and animal management uh, because we are having a lot of litter around even though there are bins kind of right here um so yeah so this is the kind of entrance to this habitat and staff area i haven't finished decorating yet because i don't want to spend too much money and if i'm honest i'm not really sure what to do now i haven't put anything in here yet because we are waiting for the kind of the clutter and stuff like that that we are expecting with our new conservation pack now I think we have got some clutter. Let me just kind of come out of here and over here so we can actually see what we're looking at. So if we go to theme and then conservation, so we have unlocked some more stuff. So let's have a look. So we have unlocked some really nice signs. Oh, actually what I might do, we've unlocked some more pictures. So I'm gonna replace this because this is not a sign line put this here where are we maybe that one oh that one but let's, let's go with this one let's move that over perhaps just like that so that looks good yeah so we've got anyway let's get back to what we were doing so we have got a lot of kind of clutter and plant pots and lots of different decorations and things. How cute is this by the way? I really want to put this in. It's a bug house. We've got some gutter in, we've got some really nice kind of lampshades and things that we could use. Oh, and some crates and things so we can decorate the staff area with some like food boxes and stuff. And we've got some wheelbarrows, like I'll show you those in a moment. <laughs> Look at these. <laughs> these are really cute aren't they like loads of little different statues we've got the horse as well and the little little monkeys i'm not i'm not sure if they're in something and like they're sleeping or the oh the wires are the legs okay right i understand ah okay i thought they were like in a crib or something the kind of clutter parts so this is kind of that we could use maybe in our backstage area so we have different kind of rakes we have some brushes cabbages and stuff so maybe we could create like a, a garden patch or something so it looks like we grow our own fruit and veg for our animals there's pumpkins another little hose pipe we've got watering cans a skip as well which would be which would be quite good maybe we could put somewhere i put that somewhere find a home for that and then we put that in there like so 
and we can either have it have two wheels or we can have them like connecting so we can have two wheelbarrows connecting to each other or something like that and we can put like the food in there for example or little boxes of stuff that we could put in yeah so they've really given us some, quite a lot of cool stuff to be honest our poison frog is doing fine now so we can go over there and we can put our siren on now let's have a look and see if we've got things that we can do for our enrichment so that's fine so we can put all of these on so that's much happier those ones are all okay those ones are fine and these ones as well so hopefully they're all nice and happy so they will give us some more babies our mechanic research and see what we have here lovely we've got three already researched segments we've just got one left so that'll be exciting to try and see what else we have now let's have a look at our staff then so keepers have a high workload so maybe we could get another one but i'm thinking maybe we just do a little bit of educate not training so let's do that let's train them up a little bit now let's see now we don't have a security guard and things are breaking quite a lot so i'm thinking now is the time to probably get one we can get one of those and maybe another caretaker just so we have kind of, we have two and because we are getting a lot of litter um the vet is okay as well so that is all good right so let's get another let's get a security guard one of those will be fine for now i think and let's get another vendor in just so they can cover more breaks lovely okay i'm not going to worry too much about a work zone at the moment because the zoo is really not that big for us to kind of worry about so we have still got one baby tapir we do have quite a lot of poisonous frogs so we can sell these and that one as well that will take us down to two we will sell these as well to make those a little bit happier and we have a pregnant iguana oh and we have a pregnant siaman which is fantastic so we're gonna have a little um siaman baby which is great so let's quick trade those we will go back to our animals and we will just fill in our mums and our dads so we can keep track of all of those so the reason why i am doing this is m is for mum and d is for dad so that just helps us keep track of when they all have babies and they start growing up we can have we can keep track of them really so today's episode i do want to put in a giant otter and i'm thinking of putting the giant otter in over here i would like to put in an underwater viewing like a walkthrough so I'll tell you my plan, okay? An underwater viewing that will go from the giant, oh, the giant otter, sorry, and all the way through into the African penguin and out the other side. That's a plan. Whether or not it's gonna work is a different question, or whether or not I'm gonna get annoyed with the pathing system in the game and just completely abandon that idea. Keep your fingers crossed that it's actually gonna work. Okay, so giant otter, they are endangered. So I will let you pause the video and you can have a little read up all about them. Okay, so we can have nine males and nine females. They are competent with humans, but guests cannot enter the habitat. So they can have one to five offsprings. Uh, so it's dominant mated pair within family group. Two males and two females, and they can be each a mating pair. And then they can have up to five each. Oh my goodness. Okay, so we're going to have one, two, three, four adults. And then if each female has five babies, yeah, so that would be 14. And so they're going to need quite a lot of room. Oh, okay, so we're going to be spending some conservation credits. Or oh, there isn't any for cash. Okay, so I'm thinking this one and this one. Now, the immunity is not great on this one, but it's quite young and it's only for 500 because the further up you go, they're not getting that better. So let's get this one and then maybe this one as well. 
maybe having the staff area kind of brought back a little bit they can still have an inside and an outside area so the staff area would be back here and that would accommodate for both the african penguin and the giant otter when we get it or when we get both of them at the same time without further ado let's get into the time lapse and we will see what happens
Okay everyone, we have finally finished the giant otter habitat. Now, I had to step away from the game for a couple of days because the roof was really difficult to try and get right. I'm, I don't know why I struggled with it, but I did. Um, so <laughs> apologies if all of a sudden it goes from being half built to almost kind of built this the staff area that's the reason why but anyway so i have made quite a good use of all the plants that we've now got in the game um first of all let's have a look at this path so i put in a little staff path underneath this section here then i just covered it with wooden beams just so the guests don't go through and into this area but we can carry on the natural looking path um, so I was thinking maybe we could put like a little river over here and then I was like, oh, I don't know. Um, and then I was thinking maybe we should carry this all the way down. But then I'm thinking, what about all the piece count, for the actual zoo? Uh, because we're doing a lot of custom buildings at the moment, I'm really worried about the piece count and the amount of objects that we have or will have in the game. So I'm trying to limit where I can. So... I thought maybe this could be like a work in progress kind of path or something like that. But you can come through here and into the staff section. Now it's exactly the same as the other kind of staff sections that we have going on. Um, but I thought it, it's just really cute that there's like little empty plant pots everywhere and it kind of goes around the side. I've used the soil instead of the mulch because I thought it's probably a little bit more natural we're trying kind of maybe thinking that this is kind of overgrown stuff and they've just kind of gone through and placed in the little plant pots and things like that so i really do hope you like that um i am going to create some more staff signs and things like that when we do the prop build video so that's just there just to remind me pretty much let's go through here into the otter habitat okay so i have put a few little things in here that I'm not entirely sure whether the otters will actually use, but I thought it, it was just really nice. So as you walk in, you've also got your heaters and you've got your little hose pipe and little bucket. You've got your water section over here for the otters to drink out of and then a few little enrichment items. Now, I use this pool, which I think is for the D holes. Yeah, I think this is for the D holes. So, but the otter is in it, so I think they do like it. But they do have a, quite a big water area outside. I just thought if they want to play in the water inside, then they can. So I put that in. I think that's really nice. And you obviously have your little checks and stuff like that that the check keeper check keepers that the keepers can come in and do on the animals. Let's move this up there. And there. Yeah, so we've got some ventilation and you also have the little bedding area that the otters can kind of come and have a look at. Now, I didn't put in a guest viewing point into here, but I did put some big windows in so they can actually, if they're stood up here, they might be able to see in. It's quite a long way from the path, but I thought the otters can, can look out and see because the guests, if you come out through here, the guests do have quite a nice view. Now, as you come out through here, here is the habitat for the giant otters. Now, I wanted to make it like a little river dam. So I really hope it gives off that impression. <laughs> but I wanted it to be quite like boggy looking, a lot of water for them to kind of swim in and maybe lie in the sun over here. So I've, I've put in a lot of sprinklers and yeah, so I really, really do hope you like it. Um, I haven't actually put any decorations around this at the moment, so I, I could maybe go back and, and do that eventually, but uh, I tried to sink it down into the ground like I did with the Siamangs, but it, it just wouldn't work. So I'll um, maybe put a few decorations around that eventually. Uh, but at the moment, I think I quite like it like that. And yeah, so this is the little 
kind of river I suppose is it really a river I'm not sure but they can come through here and they have like a little log that they can climb on and they can swim under as well and they can come all the way up which is really really nice so I've put let me push play and you can see so I've put it's a waterfall kind of effect for the top so it just looks like there's a consistent amount of running water like we just have to just imagine that there's like a like a jet or something up this end um i've put in that's a quite a bit low actually i've put in a little jetty for them so they can kind of have a little nap on that if they wanted to or stand on it and yeah they can come down here and then they can go swimming down here so let's go under the water oh you okay hang on a minute let's just fix you hang on i don't know if you're actually supposed to be stuck there like that hang on move you up there <laughs> oh our tapir space is going to mature yeah so they can swim through here and the guests can have a really really nice view over into this section as well so the water isn't necessarily really deep but i do find that i i build water habitats really deep and they don't necessarily need to be so the guests can stand here and have a nice little look at the underwater action of the giant otters yeah so that's really exciting so i i have uh, built this bit down here so the guests come down this section now i haven't put any decorations down here or anything at the moment uh because i am thinking quite possibly that we put in maybe some sunshades or something, some sheltered area down here. Now we do need to put in a giant otter kind of art piece for our children of the zoo so they can take it off on their little kind of sheet that they have or that we're pretending that they have. So we have this one here, which is a quite nice or this one here, maybe, maybe this one. So I'm thinking perhaps if we lower this down a little bit and maybe just kind of move it like that then we can move this up and just move this up as well so it's not in the way of the little otter's face yeah i like that i think that's really nice cool oh and also whilst i was um loading up this game we had a baby siamang so let's just have a look and see if we can find them. And I've also made this area a bit bigger because they, the climbing frame kept getting stuck and uh, they kept getting really upset. So I've just made the, oh, there's the baby. Just made the area a little bit bigger for them. Ah, oh, look. Look how sweet. Oh. Oh, it's following its mum. That's really nice. Oh, they're stuck in the, in the grass, okay. <laughs> we've got a little magic monkey any babies that we have we're not going to put them on the trade center or anything we will go into or we're going to release them to the wild so yeah so i really do hope you enjoyed this episode and you're really enjoying the series so far and and i hope to see you in the next one thank you so much for watching Bye bye